Well, hey friends, it is 8 o'clock on a Sunday evening and I have a Costco haul for you. So I'm going to flip you around and share with you what we picked up. Um, actually, my husband picked all this stuff up. Can I just give a shout out to the men of the world who do grocery shopping like for their wives and families? You rock. <laughs> it takes such a load off of my plate and he seems to enjoy doing it. So I was really thankful that he did this big task. Um, some of it's already been put away. So I'm going to show you everything kind of in the fridge as it uh, is right now. Um, and I'm just going to show you. Okay, so usually I try and lay everything out really nice, but tonight it's just all here because it's late and yeah. <laughs> So we got our standard honey bunches of oat cereal. My kids love this, my husband loves this, and they seem to go through it very quickly. He picked up two pineapples, which these will be so great. Um, so in cutting pineapples, if you have difficulty cutting pineapples, there's a tool by Pampered Chef. I'll see if I can go grab it really quick. It's this thing. Um, it cuts your pineapples so nicely. So this cover comes off and you just slice the tops off of your pineapple and then you just push this all the way down and this cores your pineapple. So this cores it and then this um, cuts all of the rind off and you're left with such wonderful pineapple um, and then you just have to chunk it or um, you know cut it how you desire and it makes it so super simple. Um, it's you know you can by all means use a knife and that works great too um, but this has saved us many a time it makes pineapple cutting very easy so again this is available from pampered chef then we got a box of grapes and a big bag of little clementines and then this is um puppy pads so we have eight puppies and they are just now starting on um solid food so they're transitioning they're eating something called like black or something like that it's like a formula um or like a rice cereal type thing and that's not what it is but that's what it's like anyways we got all these puppy pads for them um bananas this bag of veggie straws two packs of blackberries and then two packs of raspberries. Now, as you can see, I was getting ready to start watching some YouTube while I was putting away my groceries. Um, big box of Nutrigrain bars. Big box of the Kirkland brand granola bars. Um, our favorite uh, sprouted grain bread um, from Silver Hills. And then we also picked up four of these planters peanut um, peanut butters. This is our favorite kind of peanut butter, and this I'm sure is really available in the states. However, it's not so widely available here. In fact, you can see it's new here, um, and it tastes so much better than some of the um, brands that they carry here. So when we find it on sale, we like to stock up. Uh, so two of them are already put away, and then um, these two have not yet been put away. Um, we picked up a huge bag of apples, so this whole bowl is filled with apples and then a few lemons, um, but yeah, it's a big bowl of apples. And here is the freezer all stocked and stuffed to the gills. We couldn't fit anything else in if we tried. So we have one, two, three butters, and yes, you can freeze butter. It uh, freezes really well, um, and then we have... One bag of, yeah, just one bag of the Kirkland chicken, I think. I'd want it two, but I think there's only one. So that's it for freezer stuff. Okay, so here in the fridge, I totally need to reorganize and clean out my fridge, but I'll work on that tomorrow. Um, he picked up a big container of this Parmesan cheese. This is like actual flakes, which is super fun. Um, and then these meats, um, again these are from obviously Costco, um, these are a really fun snack and good in the kiddos lunches. Two cartons of eggs, a big thing of ground beef, and then these are two roasts, uh, maple syrup, 
And then back here is a um, cream for coffee. We got milk. And what else here? And there's another cream. And then here we got um, another block of cheese. This is kind of a, a staple for us. Well, hey friends, it's Monday morning and I just finished the very last bit of our grocery shopping for the next two weeks. I needed to fill in with a few items that are um, just better to buy at the grocery store for us. And I also picked up some things for the holidays. So I'm not sure if I mentioned it in the Costco haul from yesterday, um, but the peanut butter that we got, a lot of that will actually go to recipes that we're going to make um, around Christmas time. So peanut butter buckeye balls, peanut butter fudge, um, who knows what else at this point. But um, So I picked up a few things that I'm going to use for the holidays, and I'm going to turn you around and share with you what I got. Okay, so I picked up some cottage cheese. This will be used for a couple of recipes uh, for Trim Healthy Mama. So I'm going to do lazy lasagna. And I did have some requests to share with you that recipe, so I will be um, filming that. And also a um, banana cake. Sour cream. Sugar-free ketchup. Um, these are artichoke hearts. So I am going to attempt to make um, a spinach artichoke chicken cheesy sort of dish and it looks so delicious. Now there were lots of different cans of artichoke hearts that were uh, at the grocery store and most of them were marinated and so when I read the ingredients um, they had like a lot of soybean oil and I don't um, eat soybean oil so um, I ended up just getting the plain uh, artichoke hearts and all that's in here is the artichoke hearts oops sorry artichoke hearts, water, salt, and citric acid. So um, they may not be as flavorful, but I, I think that if I add some spices and things to this, I can make kind of my own um, flavorful artichoke hearts for the dish. My favorite um, water enhancers and tangerine grapefruit. Some green onions. And cheese sticks. These Sorry, my camera just quit working. Um, anyways, these were on sale for four dollars and forty-eight cents. So we'll also we'll use these in lunches. But I did a recipe recently that was so good, and it was um, making your own homemade mozzarella sticks, like the appetizer type ones that you would get in a restaurant. And you bread them with Parmesan cheese and some spices, and you dip them in an egg wash, and um, you know. I guess fry them um, and they were so good so I'm gonna make that uh, sometime this week as a treat for my family and then we got some lean deli ham uh, for sandwiches and two boxes of not boxes packages of frozen chopped spinach some radishes I have roast and I'm going to throw these in with the roast as kind of an alternative to white potatoes Sorry if you can hear my little guy in the background. Um, some veggie thin crackers and triscuits. Uh, some pretzels. And these are alphabet pretzels. I thought the kids would have fun with those. And then tonight is Halloween and my daughter needed a pair of leggings. She's going as Judy Hopps from Fruit Zootopia. I was going to say Fruitopia. <laughs> um, Zootopia. And I picked her up the size that she would... Um, so she wears the size 6. These are size 5. They're going to be a smidge too short on her, but the only other size they had available was size medium. And I had bought those, but the waist is so huge they like fall off of her. So I figured that we'll just use these um, for sleeping like bedtime pajama pants. It doesn't matter if they're a little short. Okay, so this is the part of my haul that is a bit of a stock up. So chips are a very rare occurrence in our house, but over the holidays, chips and dip are one of my favorite, favorite, favorite snacks, and I decided to get chips because they were on sale. They were $1.88, and that's a rare price for my area for name brand potato chips. So I got a classic kind. I don't, I'll, I don't, if I go for chips, I would prefer the wavy kind, um, but the classic, there's just something about that taste that's so good. So I got both those bags. Um, two cans of pumpkin, just plain pumpkin. Lots of pumpkin desserts are coming up in the future. Um, two boxes of white cake mix, and those have a lot to do with the uh, 
the pumpkin. So these were on sale for $1, which again was a good price for here. And two bags of cranberries. So these were two for $5. You can usually get them cheaper around the holidays, but again, I just wanted to stock up and just kind of um, start rolling in my holiday food purchases in with my regular grocery budget so that when it comes to the holidays, I am not totally swamped with um, buying a whole lot of stuff and feeling like I'm spending it in an arm and a leg. So there you go. There is everything. I don't really have a meal plan for this week. We're sort of winging it. Um, I know that we're going to do that lazy lasagna, the spinach, artichoke, pasta, or not pasta, um, chicken dish. Sorry. <laughs> My little guy. Um, we'll probably do, we're going to have a roast and maybe a homemade pizza on Friday um, and maybe taco Tuesday. So those are just some ideas. We've got lots and lots of food that uh, we have all our staples and then a bunch of extras that will make for some good meals. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great day and I will chat with you soon. Bye.